Right, the latest you. big concert is about to happen at the Bangor Waterfront Pavilion, and it looks as though the shows will go on for a lot longer. The City Council approved an extension to a key contract that will keep the concerts coming for another 13 years at least. News editor Jackie Mundry joins us now from Darling's Waterfront Pavilion with the details on the extension through 2032. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Pat and Cindy. As you can tell, people are lining up and filtering in to get excited to watch tonight's show. Hart, Cheryl Crow, and El King are getting ready to perform here on the waterfront, and these lines on the waterfront are going to continue for years to come. That's thanks to an 8 to 1 vote by the Bangor City Council to extend the lease with waterfront concerts. There's going to be $7 million worth of renovations put into the venue, and city officials say this is a good, good news. I think it's absolutely positive. I mean, to see that kind of investment happening in the waterfront, I mean, what's just happened with Bangor Savings Bank, and uh, that's a huge investment they've made. Alex Gray is the producer behind all the shows here at the Darlings Waterfront Concert Stage. You know, we're excited to be here, I suspect, for the rest of my lifetime. The City Council voted to extend Waterfront Concert's lease at its meeting Monday night. But before the vote, there were concerns raised regarding Gray's 2017 domestic violence charge. We thought it was best for the court system to handle it, not the council. It were two separate issues. But I think as a whole, you know, the city looked uh, past those, uh, those issues, in a sense, if you will. Even before the extension vote, changes on Bangor's waterfront. Among them, permanent bathrooms that won't only benefit concert goers. But those bathrooms will be available to... If the city has a function on the waterfront, we'll be able to access those bathrooms for use of events we might have down there. Those bathrooms will be finished up before the end of the week. And a number of different disability accessibility options are also being added to the Bangor venue. All to make things better for those attending concerts and to bring more business to the city. I was talking to the people from uh, Blink-182 when they were in town a couple weeks ago, and just their group. They had 55 rooms at the residence in Bangor just to take care of the people they were traveling with. The 40 bathrooms inside the secured venue are going to be unveiled on Thursday night at the Chris Stapleton concert. And a lot of the other renovations, including the remainder of the bathrooms, will be done in the concert's off-season. Pat and Cindy. All right. Thank you, Jackie. Thanks. We're back after this.